Hello everyone, and welcome to Drake Makes. Unreal Engine 5 is in full release, so I'm working on a new cinematic. This week, I started building the two sets for the animation. We've got a forested freeway scene and another levitator machine in a clearing. I thought I'd share my work in progress. I started off by making some roads. Megascans has some sidewalk assets and a road texture that I just copy and pasted a bunch of times once it was placed in the scene. I'm using the Elite Landscapes pack again, and for the sake of this render, I just found a relatively flat spot to place the road on. With the trees in place and considering how the final animation is going to be framed, the magic hovering freeway isn't much of an issue. I also play with lighting modes from time to time to get a fresh eye on the scene, so you'll see the textures and lighting flicker a few times. Once we had a decent start for a highway, I then just began jumping between adding more trees, adding more detail to the construction site, and around the sides of the road. A lot of the assets used here are from the Matrix demo that just came out, built for Unreal Engine. To try and make a forest more quickly, I was just copying and pasting bulk trees, but this causes a lot of the geometry to end up floating. Unreal Engine 5 has a lot better tools for environment design that I plan to dig into more thoroughly for future videos, but as of right now, I've just been fixing the trees as I see them. As for the second scene, much like the freeway, I scattered a bunch of trees around, making sure to leave a small clearing. With the trees all grouped up, I could hide them temporarily while I constructed the levitation machine. As great as Unreal Engine is, the forest was causing a stunning frame rate problem.
Much like the levitation machine in the last render, I'm just kit bashing assets together until it starts to look cool. I have a vague idea in mind going in, but ultimately it's the assets that guide my imagination. I had a fun new glitch in which the horizon started tearing. You can kind of see it happening here. Uh, rebooting the engine fixed this, so I ignored it entirely. Even stranger was this bug. For some reason, my whole scene turned purple. Eventually, it too fixed itself, so I've just been carrying on with the detail work, and it hasn't happened since. So here are some little cinematic animations of where we're at so far. When the detail work is all finished, I'll load up Sequencer and hopefully the final animation will be out sometime next week. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to see these sets get put to good use. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy the time lapses and I will see you all in the next video.